All right, so in this video, I want to look at this uh, SQL interview problem by Google. And the problem is really hard. So let's look at the uh, description first. Find the number of times the words bow and bill occur in the contents. What contains the number of times the word occur? So words like bush should not be included in our content. And the last line here, I'll put the word bow and bill along with the corresponding number of occurrence. All right, so here let's look at the table first. So the table only has two counts. First count is going to be the file name, and the second count is going to be the uh, text itself. All right, so let's start with uh, the first uh, step, or the first uh, take. So I want to figure out from uh, each text block, how many times uh, each word occurs. So if you think about it, uh, this is actually a math problem. All right, so here's uh, retrieve the records where the the word beer, and actually, let's do that one, where the word bow occurs. So here we can simply do a, a like operator where contains like. So when we think about a word, a word must have a space from both ends. So I can simply insert a space at the end and from the beginning where I want to capture the word itself. Now if I run the code to send my uh, result set. So basically every single record from this table has this word bow in it. And if I do the other one here, now this time we have two records returned. Now when we look at the problem, we just need to return two counts, the word itself and the number of times the word occurs. All right, so let's name this as a word. And this one's going to capture both, actually not both, beer. And because I'm using Postgres SQL, so to get the uh, character count, I need to use the length function. And let me take a look. And I need to delete the wildcard. And I think that was the issue. All right, so if we look at the uh, text block's length, so for the first record, uh, we have about 182 characters. Now to figure out the number of times this word occurs, I can simply subtract the total character count. And I will use the replace function to take out the keyword. In this case, it will be bear. And I'll replace the keyword with an empty string. And it's going to be uh, length. Now let me take a look. Oh, so this should be contents. All right, so if we look at the uh, second column, so here we have four, and four means that the difference between the total character count first the uh, total character count without the keyword is a uh, four character long. And because uh, this output is converted as text, so I need to convert this to integer first. And start right. Okay. So if I convert this to integer first, and I'll divide the value by six. And here, I forgot to include the space from both ends. And that gives me uh, six characters. And six divided by six is goes to one. So that means for those two records that where uh, this word uh, occurs, 
this will only occur once uh, for those two records. Now I can mimic the behavior with a different keyword, and this will be bow. Now from this table, we have all the words and the uh, occurrence count. Now we can uh, put everything together into the report that we're looking for. So I'm going to sum, actually, let's name this commerce uh, instance. And I want to sum the instance column. And for the uh, form statement, I'm going to make this a, a subquery. And let's name this as word count. Actually, let's uh, name this to word instance. And here I'll insert my group by statement by the word column. Now, if we look at the uh, final output, so for bear, this word occurs twice, and for bow, uh, this word occurs three times. Now I'm going to check the solution, and hopefully I'm right. And oops, and here uh, my solution is accept. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.